Kevin, uh, our, our, our Speaker Ryan, um, and others uh, afraid to hold a town hall meeting? I think the uh, members of Congress are um, sick and tired of uh, having the town hall meetings become a, uh, uh, an opportunity for people to disrupt and uh, uh, deny people who want an opportunity to express legitimate concerns and legitimate views in a civil manner. Because that's my view. Uh, I'm a strong advocate of uh, protest and opposition, have participated in many over my last 35 years. Um, and I would just simply say that I think it's a valuable uh, opportunity to hear from voters. But when they are disruptive and uh, become violent and people who happen to support the Congress member or the President of the United States get spat upon and their, their signs taken away and uh, uh, their, their automobile uh, damaged, I think it's perfectly fine that uh, they take a pause on this. People Spencer. need to take a chill pill. <laughs> uh, Spencer, uh, do, uh, do you need to take a chill pill? I hope not. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't, there's been very little violent activity at these town halls. I haven't seen <laughs> oh, that. Goodness, but what we have seen news. is Please. citizens speaking up and, and exercising their rights in a democracy. I think the, these Republicans who are not having town hall meetings are chicken to face their constituents. There's a reason why Paul Ryan has gotten the title the Cowardly Ryan, because he's unwilling to come back to his district and talk and face the music for what he's been doing.